Well, Jane and Alexandra Soroshenko were separated for thousands of miles with Jane living in Morris Park and her daughter Alexandra still living in their native country of Ukraine. While the battle overseas erupted, Jane has been determined to bring her daughter to the United States. And since we last spoke to her in April, Barbara News Pro's Julio Avila tells us more. It was a crazy thing just to, just to, you know, to, to wake up and to see that there is a war. Alexandra Soroshenko was living in her native Ukraine when Russia invaded. It was like bombings and you... First of all, when you wake up, you don't imagine that it can be a war. But she's in Morris Park now with her mother, Jane. We introduced you to the mother and daughter back on April 10th, speaking to Jane at her home and Alexandra over the phone as they were determined to get Alexandra away from the war and into the United States. But I'm glad that I have my family here. When we've met in Mexico City, um, and we already felt that it's like the last step. In April, they told us they'd go through Mexico if their visa and humanitarian parole requests were denied, which they were, her journey starting in Romania. Well, I was going from Romania to, uh, to Barcelona, from Barcelona to Bogota, Colombia, mm -hmm. and uh, after that to, to Mexico City. It was in Mexico where she stayed in a shelter with help from volunteers providing her with that shelter and needed items. Once they crossed the U.S.-Mexico border, they tell us they applied again for humanitarian parole and got it. But Alexandra doesn't have work authorization yet. And when her humanitarian parole expires next April, she may have to return to Ukraine. But we don't know it now. And if it won't be possible, at the end, that means that I need to go. But first of all, nobody knows what will be in a year. Their ultimate wish, that the war ends soon. In Morris Park, Julio Avila, News 12.